Hello, this is Ken Xie speaking. Uh, this section we're going to talk about the ideal cell voltage. This ideal cell voltage is based on the thermodynamic, thermodynamic principle to calculate for a given field such as like a hydrogen, methanol, methane, how the ideal case the output uh, cell voltage will come out. In the reality, the, actually the fuel cell output voltage will be much lower than the ideal cell voltage but this one at least can calculate how high the maximum cell voltage will output from thermodynamic calculation. Uh, what is a cell voltage? The cell voltage is the potential difference. That means the cell voltage equal to the cathode potential minus the anode potential. And um, we can use a diagram to demonstrate, illustrate this situation. Uh, the, the assume this is the cathode potential and this is the anode potential. The difference between this will be the cell voltage. And uh, when uh, there's a charge flow through because of potential difference, either the positive charge flow or negative charge flow and uh, will be uh, going through the external circle. So they will be uh, doing some work to the outside uh, uh, electric appliance. Just like if you think it's a waterfall, there's a potential uh, difference, the height difference. So the water will be flow through the uphill the mountain and going down. And there will be make uh, some work, mechanical work done. You can see from the uh, potential energy change into the kinetic energy. In the electric sense, uh, it will generate electricity from this way. And then the energy generated like waterfall and depends on how much, not only depends on the, the height, dif the difference of height, but also depends on how much amount of water falling uh, for the given height. The same thing for electric uh, energy, not only depends on how much the cell voltage or the potential difference, but also depends on how much electric charge, the charge flows through external circle. So the maximum work can be done by fuel cell is equal to amount of charge flow through external circle times the voltage, cell voltage. So if it, you know, on the equation we can see the maximum work done by the fuel cell is delta G and then the amount of charge flow is equal to minus NF this amount of charge flow through the external circle and then the, the cell voltage. And this one the, depends on the, um, the different kind of fuel. It will give a different amount of cell voltage or the delta G. We can do the calculation. So over here, the delta G equal to minus NFE, the N is a reacting equivalent or more per equivalent. This means a more, one more of a few, the chemicals, so go through the electrochemical reaction of the fuel cell. How much, how many more of electron can be flow through the external circle or generate uh, through the electrochemical reaction? We can, uh, uh, so, over here, the delta G equal to minus NFE. The reason we put a minus sign over here is because uh, the definition for spontaneous reaction is different. From thermodynamic point of view, uh, if uh, this is spontaneous reaction, that means what it will take place without any external force. And that the delta G, the change of delta G of that reaction it should be minus less than zero. But from electrochemical sense, uh, if this electrochemical reaction will take place, the cell voltage should be greater than zero. So uh, to um, compensate this uh, uh, contradiction, there's a minus sign over here. So make it all agree each other. At a standard condition, we put the subscript zero over here, superscript zero to uh, designated as a standard condition, 25 Celsius degree and uh, one atmosphere or one bar here. But uh, this one at a different other temperature pressure also is uh, applicable. So um, about the unit, from the unit it will consist for the 
delta G uh, is a, a more perdure how much you, uh, energy can come out, uh, electric, electricity can come out per mole of the fuel react. And uh, equal to minus N, the N is a one, one mole of the fuel and how much more of electricity, electron can be released. And F is a Friday constant, one mole of electron, how much coolant or the charge were available times the E, the voltage. So the more electron will be cancel each other. So volt times coolant give you the joule, the, 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 the unit of the delta G, the free energy. So from here, uh, from this equation, uh, this equation we can uh, rearrange, then we can calculate the cell voltage if we know the delta G and then the N. So the next slide we're going to use an example like hydrogen we already know. The hydrogen overall reaction is uh, one, more, one more of hydrogen will generate, uh, we react with one and a half more of oxygen, generate one more of water. So um, from the analytic reaction and the reaction on the anode, the hydrogen, one more of hydrogen will release two more of electron, so the N equal to two. That's why in the previous uh, section, we had to add, uh, to write down the reaction, anode reaction and cathode reaction. Because uh, from the individual uh, electron reaction, we're able to figure out the number of electron transfer through a more uh, through the half reaction. This is called a half cell reaction. So um, from pre pre previous, uh, we able to calculate for the hydrogen, the overall reaction, the delta G, change of delta G, and then substitute N equal to two, and the Friday constant. We are able to calculate for the hydrogen field reaction, the cell voltage is about 1.23 volt. This is for the pure hydrogen and the pure oxygen. But in reality, uh, usually we use is the air instead of the oxygen. So the oxygen in the air only 21%. So that will be cause a decrease of cell voltage. The, um, later in the next section, we'll be talking about the, the effect of concentration, like a rectum, or the pressure effect on the cell voltage. Next example is a direct methanol fuel cell. Direct methanol, uh, this one is an overall reaction. And now on the anode reaction, we can see one more of um, methanol will re involve six more of electron transferred. So over here, the N equal to six. So in that case, we can calculate the delta G, we already know a more of methanol. Uh, the overall ration, the delta G change, divided by the N and F. So this is the, uh, ideally the methanol, direct methanol fuel cell output cell voltage. It's uh, quite close to the hydrogen fuel. But in reality, uh, the direct methanol fuel cell, the open circuit voltage, this mean um, at a no current, zero current condition, usually is about uh, 0.6. That because uh, there's some uh, crossover in a direct medicine field cell. Maybe in, in a later we can um, talk about that later. So over here, we uh, this section we've been talking about the ideal output voltage for a given fuel. Now next we're going to talk about uh, how the temperature and pressure will be affected on the cell voltage.